Hello everyone, welcome to something of everything. In this video we shall see user interface in step. Whenever we start a new model or opening an existing one, this is the window that we will be watching. Let us understand the parts of it. These are called the tabs. Like file tab, geometry tab, view tab. Each tab is associated with one ribbon. In this ribbon, these are called the groups, beam profile groups, plate profile groups, etc. In each tab, there is an associated ribbon with different groups. And in those groups, there are different tools. This is user table, tapered, reference load, combination load cases, etc. are called the tools. These tools are associated with loading specification group. This loading specification group is associated with loading tab. This is how step pro works. This is quick access toolbar. This is tool search bar. This is data area. In the data area, you can create the data as well as edit the data to change or create the model. This is the view window where you can see the model as well as work with model. These are called the workflows. There are different workflows in which you will be working on. This is the title of workflow that you are working on. These are called the workflow pages. Whenever you click on any of the page, associated ribbon, tab and data area will change. Let us see. If you are clicking on properties, the specification tab and associated ribbon is opening as well as the data changes to the property table. This is the status bar where you can see the tool tips as well as the workflow name, load case and input units. These are the connection tools. Let us see one by one. Let us start with file tab. Whenever we click on file tab, this window opens in which you can get information. Which kind of information? Job information, model information, connect information, commands in the files and file information. You can create new file, new model from this file tab. You can open an existing model from file tab. You can save this file. You can save as this file. You can print the input command file, output file, report or other report, whichever you want. We shall discuss each and every tools in detail in the later stage. In report function, you can get report setup, re preview report, export to text file or word file. In ISM, you can create or update the repository. In import export, you can get the tools which can be useful for importing into State Pro as well as exporting from State Pro. In cloud services, you can work with connection clients. In settings, you can set the options for the current model. In tools, you can get the backup manager. In help menu, you can get about State Pro, its related news, etc, etc, etc. You can close the current model from here also as well as from the cross at the right top. You can create go back to the tab menu with this left arrow. In the geometry tab, you can get the ribbon in which there's a, there are clipboard group, structure group, node group, beam group, plate group, solid group, physical member group, composite deck group. These are all the groups which are useful for creating or generating the model. Here you can see an up arrow which uses which is useful for minimizing the ribbon if you click on that the ribbon will be minimized and you can get a larger view window if you want it back you just have to click on the tab and press the pin so that it can stick over the view window let us see the view tab in view tab this is the ribbon where you can get labels tools views options and windows group all these groups are useful in viewing the view structure from different angles and changing the structural options, display options we can say. In select tab, you can get cursor, geometry, nodes, beams, plates, solid, filter, attributes and modes groups. These all groups are useful for selecting the structure 
or the model that you have created with different kind of parameters in specification tab you can get beam profiles plate profiles materials specifications supports and tools these all are the tools which can be useful to specify the structural members in loading tab you will be getting loading specification generation load system dynamic specifications and display groups this will be useful for creating modifying and generating load cases and combinations whenever you click on the tab the associated ribbon changes as well as the data area will change remember that in analysis and design tab you will be getting pre analysis commands analysis types and design commands in which you can define or edit the analysis commands as well as design commands in utility tab you will get geometry physical model query display edit view tools developer and user tools groups in this groups you can get the utilities to work around the model we can say this is the command file this is the heart of state model if you open it we can get in the command editor all the commands are being written which you work on the user interface so whenever you work with user interface in the background the command file gets changed and you can also see the analysis output file once the analysis has been done these are the workflow pages in geometry page the geometry tab will open in properties page the specification tab will open in material page also the specification tab will open in specification also the specification tab will open in supports page specifications will work in loading page loading tab will be current in analysis page the analysis and design functionalities will be opening in design page you will be getting into design commands so this is analytical modeling workflow so we can say this is the pre processing workflow in physical modeling we can create the physical model which we will be which we will be learning in the later step in building planner we will be working with plan man frame framework that is also we will be learning in the later stage in the post processing once the analysis has been completed you can go to the post processing let us see the analysis first you can click on run analysis to see you can click on run analysis to complete the analysis functionalities whenever the analysis starts state starts writing different files it shows the timing of the files being created it will be showing the errors warnings or notes that will be coming it will show the current directory as well it will show the free disk space available it will show the state pro versions and license etc once the analysis will be completed we will be able to go to post processing as you can see once the analysis completes it shows us three options to view the output file to go to the post processing mode or to stay in the modeling mode we let us go to the post processing mode press done it will be asking us for the load list result setup we can set up the loads we can set up the ranges we can set up the result view options let us just apply this and press okay as you can see the post processing workflow has been started the title has been changed the pages has been changed the tabs has been changed as well as the data area now comes now becomes the result area this is how post processing works in post processing there is view tab uh, all the functionalities are the same because you want to see the view area the select tab remains the same the result tab is the new in post processing in which you can get view results dynamics animation configuration kind of groups we shall learn about each and every one at the later stage in the utilities the same windows the in utility tabs the same ribbon remains the pages in displacement page you can get the displacement results in reaction page you will be getting the reaction results 
in beam results page we will be getting the beam end forces as well as beam forces details in plate results page if there are any pages you will be getting the page results in solid you will be getting the results of solid in dynamics you will be getting the results of dynamic in reports you can set up the report you can change the report you can format the report we can say so this is the user interface of state pro you will be working in two workflows first is analytical modeling workflow and the second is post processing workflow in analytical modeling workflow you will be creating and analyzing the structure in the post processing workflow you will be understanding the results and design outputs thank you for watching the video and bearing me to like share and subscribe the video thank you so much